Yeah, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but I will say we work with a lot of family-owned businesses and entrepreneurs. And really for the past couple of years, the investment opportunities that they've been showing us have been plentiful and way, way greater than expectations. And I think I'd even bring it further forward in the past, I'd say three or four months with banks sort of retrenching a little bit, um, interest rates rising, uh, the number of opportunities has actually skyrocketed, and uh, which is wonderful because we can be more selective. So I'd say it's far outseated expectations in the current environment. Alpha is always a, a funny word. Um, I think the good thing about private credit as a whole is the beta is wonderful, right? Like most people in the private credit space are getting high single digit returns. Um, they're doing it with limited volatility, limited risk. So the beta is really attractive over the long term. I think the way we think about Alpha is we think about making sure that we're providing something to our LPs that isn't in all of their portfolios already. So by working with family owned and entrepreneurial owned companies, oftentimes they're not seeing those. They might have private equity investments, they might have sponsor back credit funds, um, but the investments that we're showing them are not in their portfolio. I honestly don't think it's any different today than it was 10 years ago, than it was 20 years ago, than it was 25 years ago. Um, when you have a company that is differentiated and defensible in an industry that's growing, you know, you're, you're starting with the wind at your back. And then if you think about building a capital structure and lending to somebody with a fully funded business plan, you know, with the amount of liquidity to weather a storm and to assume you're always going to make an investment since most of our investments are three to five years in duration that runs through an economic cycle anyway. And we've been doing that even, even when we were wrong for many years. Uh, today, when you have a capital structure set up like that, you know, the companies you invest in can not only survive an economic cycle, but they can actually thrive and take advantage of weaker competitors. And we've seen it throughout our portfolio in the last couple of years where the management teams and the operators, because they had a really good business plan and a fully funded business plan, they were actually able to grow uh, all through the pandemic and, and doing a wonderful job in 2022 as well. Uh, I what I recommend is how I spent my summer reading. I read a bunch of nondescript trashy beach novels. It was wonderful. It got my mind off everything else in the news uh, and it was really terrific. Uh, if I were to throw one thing out there that was actually pretty interesting on a more serious note, uh, it's called Nasty British and Short. And it's a philosophy book written by a professor from the University of Michigan, uh, Go Blue. And um, it's sort of an interesting book about thinking. He wrote it uh, about sort of interviews with his children and doing philosophy with them and as a parenting book, but it's really not. It's, a, it's about how to think and how differing opinions um, can actually make for great dialogue and, and better thought in your own life.